to the yang to the u, dong to the gu to the rami. What makes good kimbap? You might think the secret is in the fillings, but the key is actually in the rice. If rice is well seasoned, your kimbap is gonna be tasty even with one ingredient inside. Good tip number one, season the rice perfectly. Use Korean rice, wash rice at least three times or more for best texture, drain all the water and add equal amounts of water to cook in a pot. Just a tiny bit less water for rice cooker. Mix rice with sesame oil and a good amount of salt. It should be perfectly seasoned to a point that you want to keep eating it all by itself. Squirt tip number two, season each ingredient. You can basically add anything you want in your kimbap. There are hundreds of types of kimbap in Korea. Consider mixing up various texture and colors, but make sure each ingredient is seasoned with salt or soy sauce unless they're already salty. Also, they shouldn't be too wet or dripping with sauce. Today, I'm making classic kimbap. Pickled radish and burdock roots are classic. While making these from scratch is awesome, you can buy ready-to-use products to save a lot of time. For ham and sausages, cook before using it. No need to season since they're already salty. Quickly blanch spinach, wash in cold water, squeeze out all the water, and season with sesame oil, salt, and garlic. Saute carrot in vegetable oil with some salt and pepper. Cook until it starts to get soft and sweet flavor comes out. Beat and season eggs with salt and cook with vegetable oil. And of course, my favorite fish cake. Rinse them off in hot water and cook in soy sauce, sugar, and water. Place the seaweed for kimbap on the roller. The shiny side goes outside. Good tip number three, don't add too much rice. Grab a baseball size and spread as thinly as possible. Add the ingredients you like and close it up so the one rice end meets the rice on the other end. Press where they meet firmly. Put some water at the end of the seaweed and just roll it to close up. And apply just a little bit of pressure to firm up the shape. Put some sesame oil on the outside. Wipe your knife with a wet towel for a cleaner cut. Use back and forth motion to cut without squishing it. Kimbap doesn't last a long time so eat within a few hours. Mm. Mm.